Okay, my picture is not the best, but you guys can see a nicer picture on the thumbnail, so yeah. Anyway, in this video, we're going to find the area of the JD region, and here we are talking about polar curve, r is equal to 1 plus 2 cosine theta. As we can see, this right here is symmetrical, so we can just figure out the area on the top, and then multiply by 2, that will give us the whole thing. However, we have to be careful, because we have to know how the curve goes. So here we go. Right here, when theta is equal to 0, it's at this point. Why? Because if you plug in 0, you get cosine 0, which is 1, times that by 2, which is 2, and then plus 1 is 3. And you'll see that this is actually 0, 3. 0 for theta, r is 3. That means you are looking at this direction, and you are going out 3 units away. And then you can plug in more angle value for theta, and you'll actually see that the curve goes like this. Right? Especially, this is when theta is equal to pi over 2, and then it's going to rotate, and you are going to get back to the origin, like that. And you have to be careful. Like, you have to know for what angle we are going to come back to the origin. And then, after this, we are actually going to go down, right here, and then it's going to rotate this way, and then up. But the good thing is that, the area of this part is the same as the area of that part. So, it's actually good. So now, let's see. Let me just write this down for you guys. In order to us, for us to calculate this area, I will just do two times the following. The top is this. I go from here, and then I rotate to here. And let's focus on this one first. So, let's see. I need two angle values. This right here, as we discussed it, is just 0. And that's my theta 1. Now, for theta 2, it's going to be right here. I need to figure out what theta 2 is. And to do so, you have to remember, well, at the origin, that's where r is equal to 0 for our polar equation. Therefore, all I have to do is, I will just put this down right here. 1 plus 2 cosine theta, I will have to set this to be 0 for the origin. And then, of course, we can just solve this equation real quick. We can minus 1 on both sides and then divide it by 2 on both sides. So we see that we have cosine theta is equal to negative 1 half. And from here, depending on how you want to solve this equation, you can just recall your uh, cosine values at different angles. But you can also draw uh, reference triangles. I will do that for you guys. To draw the reference triangle, you have to remember cosine is x over r. And what I mean by that is, you can look back to your x and y plane. When x is negative 1, it's right here. Right? Next, negative 1 is right here. So you just mark it, this is negative 1. You have to go to the left. And then r is 2. Then you just go from the origin, 2, like this. And this is a special right triangle because we have negative 1, 2, and this right here will be square root of 3. So you have to know that this is actually going to be a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. And this is going to be 60 degrees. Inside, well, that's the same as pi over 3, 60 degrees. Well, you don't look at pi over 3. You need the angle from the positive x-axis to here. And of course, this angle is just pi minus pi over 3, and that will give us 2 pi over 3. And that's precisely the theta 2 that we need. Let me just write down 2 pi over 3. And there you have it. Once you have the angle 1, angle 2, this right here is actually pretty easy now. So, don't forget the 2 all the way in the front. And for this um, area, I will just put down the integral in red. We go from 0 to 2 pi over 3. And then remember the formula is 1 half times r squared, and r is this. So you're just going to enter that into the parentheses. 1 plus 2 cosine theta, and then don't forget the square. And then, of course, d theta. This will calculate the area right here, right? Now, the second part is that we have to subtract. And I should be subtracting this. But if you want to continue the angle value from 2 pi over 3, from 2 pi over 3 to the next value, it's actually right here. So I will just draw the bottom portion for you guys. 
It's the same anyway, the palm and bottom, they are symmetrical, they are nice people, okay? Anyway, from here to here. Plus, it's this angle. Well, this is my starting angle this time, that will be my theta 1, which is of course the same as that, 2 pi over 3. That's nice. Now, what is this angle though? This is going to be my theta 2. So, a small tip for you guys. Any time that you are on the x-axis, you are going to be having either 0 or pi or 2 pi or any multiples of pi, okay? Except for at the origin. At the origin, you have to figure it out by setting the r equal to 0. But of course, right here, you can just think that it's on the x-axis. So it's either 0, pi, 2 pi, and so on. And you see, earlier we went from 2 pi over 3 to actually pi. So theta 2 right here, it's actually pi. It's kind of weird, but I'll show you why. If you plug in pi into the equation, you get r equals 1 plus 2 cosine pi. Cosine pi is negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 1, so r is equal to negative 1. So this point is saying you have pi and negative 1 right here, right? And for the polar coordinate, you have to write it as negative 1 for r and theta right here. So this is r theta. And this means you're looking at the pi direction, which is over there, right? that direction. r is negative 1. That tells you to go back one unit. So you are looking at that direction and move back one unit, so you are right here at this point. So that's pretty much it. So the good thing is that we are pretty much done. I can just subtract the integral from 2 pi over 3, that's my theta 1 here, and then to pi, same thing. Thing says 1 half, that's 1 half r squared, so the plus 2 cosine theta squared uh, d theta. And then in close, uh, close the parentheses. This right here is the answer. And of course, I will leave the computation to you guys. You can calculate this whichever way that you want. Um, yeah, but the setup is the interesting thing in this video. Anyway, as always, this is it.